First and foremost, I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, their rule well, and a sincere salutation to Yahweh and Yahweh to believe in all sincerity. So I would like to run back a point that was made, okay, at camp through the Spirit. And, you know, basically that point is, is that, you know, we've been given, you know, the knowledge of the Most High, okay, through His Son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I mean, we've been given the, the secret counsel, okay, of the Heavenly Father. And when we look around, you know, this word has yet to be debunked, okay? The scriptures say that, um, you know, the knowledge causes us to to um, to prevail, roughly paraphrasing, in all places. <clears throat> okay, so, you know, with this word, you know, we're actually being, um, you know, defended, okay? We, we just... Uh, rely on you know the truth and it's getting us through all these different circumstances okay the lord said he would give us the comforter okay he would give us the holy spirit he would give us the the force okay the strength the knowledge to 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 you know make it to the kingdom you know we're very blessed you know the scriptures say the world light and wickedness and right now you know we're seeing rumors of wars okay we're seeing the heavenly father visit the world in which he created Okay, there's, uh, you know, many uh, signs in the heaven. We just had the uh, the the eclipse, okay, uh, the ring of fire, if I'm not mistaken. You know, we've had um, different, um, you know, earthquakes, storms, you know. And the Heavenly Father spoke about all these things, okay. You know, we have, uh, the, you know, uprising of the people, you know, the, the love of many is waxing cold. Okay, we're living in, you know, uh, the worst case scenario. But the beautiful thing is that we have this knowledge. Okay, so I want to bring out a couple of scriptures. Okay, you know, Lord willing, this will be edifying. Because, you know, we know in part and prophesy in part. You know, you know as elders have, have mentioned, you know, we don't know exactly to the T. Okay, play by play how we're going to get out of here. But we know that we've been given the knowledge. Okay, we, we, we know Okay, according, according to what's written, and it's been revealed unto us, okay, you know, um, what's to come, okay, and through the Spirit, you know, the Scriptures say, um, knowledge, uh, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, okay, and the strength of salvation. So, we have to thank Yahweh Bashem Yashai for, you know, giving us this secret counsel, which is actually hidden, okay, from the rest of the world. You know, therefore, we shouldn't um, really be too, uh, you know, occupied, if, if you will, in, in, in trying to save everybody. You know, basically, you know, whoever's going to get it is going to understand. Okay. And the rest are, are basically they're blinded. Okay. But let's let's start here in Second uh, Peter 1 and 2. It says, Simon Peter a servant and an apostle of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach to them that have obtained like precious faith. You see? So not only did the apostles, okay, obtain precious faith, but also, you know, those those they believe. It says with us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Excuse me, grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the Most High and of Yahweh Shai, our Lord. You see, grace and peace be multiplied to all those that have the knowledge. And it's that knowledge that, that, that you receive that teaches you righteousness. And that's what the Heavenly Father is really doing. He's bestowing His knowledge upon a, a, a certain elect that is making them righteous in these latter days. So grace, uh, excuse me, grace, grace and peace be multiplied unto you. Okay, all the Akim, all those that believe in sincerity, <clears throat> it says, according to his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life. You see, let's look at this divine power, divine. What 
We'll look up the word power. How about that? Power. Dunamis. Strong's, Strong's G, 1411. Dunamis. 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 Right. Moral power and excellence of soul. Strength, power, ability. So the, the Heavenly Father's divine power. Okay. He, you know. His strength, his ability, you know, has really given us an excellent soul, more moral power. Okay? You change. You know, you, you get illuminated. And that's 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 from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. According to his, as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life, you see. So while the while the world is going to hell deceived in a handbasket, you know, through the spirit, we believe that, you know, you know, we've been given all things that pertain unto life. You know, there's life in this word. Strong's G twenty two twenty two Zoe Zoe It says life real and genuine a life active and vigorous devoted to the most high blessed in the portion even in this world of those who put their trust in Hamashiach you see you're blessed even in this world to have this knowledge okay that is from on high that divine power it makes your your soul excellent it purifies you course you get chastised of course you're going through hell but see that's all part of the lord's plan you see the elect okay they're the ultimate underdogs if it, you know the scriptures say nothing can separate us from the love of yahweh bashim shai what we have is so precious lord willing we can continue to the end okay because not everybody has this you know <clears throat> you debate christians or you talk to christians and we could talk to our black and blue but we can never come to an understanding. And what we say makes sense. And what they say doesn't make sense. How about that? So, the things that were given to us is pertaining to life. Re, uh, life real and genuine. A life active and vigorous, devoted to the Most High. Blessed in the last, in the portion, even in this world, of those who put their trust in Hamashiach. But after the resurrection to be consummated by new ascensions, among them a more perfect body and to last forever. That's what we're going to get. We get a perfect body and eternal life. Okay. It says, have given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness. You see? Life and godliness through the knowledge of him that called us to glory and virtue. So, you know, we're becoming godly by this knowledge. The Heavenly Father has called us to glory and virtue. He's called us to, to, to you know, and the scriptures say he's going to perform his work in us until the end. You see, so, you know, it's it's very much true, the saying of the apostles and the elders that, you know, from the scriptures that, you know, the Lord is, is, is a, you know, he's purging us. He's making us better. He's giving us knowledge to make us godly. Okay. And, and we're very much shining like lights in the world, you know. He's kind of stand out like a sore thumb, so to speak. Like, you know, the world is, you know, scriptures say, following out a multitude to do evil while they're going one way. You know, the, 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 the men that are, that are out there teaching on the highways and hedges, they're going the, the, the opposite way. This is whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises. Okay. Eternal life. That's a promise. If we endure Strong's G, 1862. Okay, new bodies. Okay. The truth in our inward parts. You know, that we should be saved, you know, from our enemies. You know, our heart's desires. Those are promises. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these... He might be partakers of the divine nature, right? We might, okay, because we're we're uh, prisoners of hope. But if we do overcome this world, overcome the lies, overcome this, uh, uh, you know, the beast, okay, and his mark, 
We're going to be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Okay? Forbidden desires. We escape the corruption in the world. Okay? You know, that lust. You know, brothers are, are, are learning how to discipline themselves. They're learning how to, how to stop and to think. Okay? And, 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 and calling me was shy, you know, in all things. Okay, we've escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. You know, you know we're 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 being set up to win. We're being set up to to overcome. <clears throat> you know, we don't have that spirit where, you know, we 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 uh, we once had. You know, when we were so easy to uh, to give into the to the flesh. You know. You know, we're escaping, okay, the corruption is in this world. You know, and how beautiful is that? Seeing that the world is 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 just going to hell in the handbasket, so to speak. Okay. So it's just something quick, you know, something that was on my spirit. You know, sometimes when you're at camp, certain points uh, come out and, and you know you just have to run it back. But yeah, you know, uh, we see that the 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 world is 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 you know, light and wickedness. And the scriptures say the Lord's coming to to judge the world for its iniquity. And look at this knowledge. It's looked upon as, as so radical and when it's the most, you know, benevolent thing that could be. It's interesting, you know, how, you know, we see things so different, you know. As I said in Ezra, for, for some, the cup is half empty. For some, the cup is half full, you know. So just wanted to bring this out, you know. Lord willing, this was edifying. Shalom.